This is Coach Evans. Other coach, from better half, Miss Debbie Evans. That's Lake and Boone Newsom. I think uh, she just signed to Pockville College yeah. the other day and top 10 in the state this year. So, congratulations, first team off the state. Gabriel. Gabby. Carly Fraley. And Mallory Davis. And Addison Haney. And Kelly Mullins. Uh, it's been a great year. It's a great group of young ladies to be a part of. Uh, my wife and I have enjoyed working with them, coaching them. They're first class, uh, not only on the course, but in the classroom, wherever we take them. Uh, they just really uh, carry themselves well, represent themselves, the school, us, and their parents. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, then my own two kids, but they are my kids, or our kids. Um, they spend a lot of time at my house, a lot of them do, if they're getting balls in the yard. <clears throat> and uh, they've had a great season. Uh, one in the region, all A region and KHSAA region. And, uh, you, you know, if you've played golf in here, you know what a, what a big challenge that has been for us. Uh, we don't have a golf course in the county, and I keep beating that drum, but we don't. Um, it'd be nice to have one, but at the same time, it, you look at the accomplishments of these kids not to have a golf course. I could only imagine how good they would have been, or even others that may be in this room that would have played, that maybe <coughs> would have excelled, that would have went somewhere to play college golf. Uh, in the years that we've had uh, a girls golf program, every girl that has played and played and graduated has signed a college scholarship at, uh, through the girls golf program. And Boo has continued that tradition, and hopefully the rest of these young ladies, because they all have the skills to do that. Uh, if they receive that uh, scholarship, they're going to have to work at it. They know the level they've got to get to, but uh, they've competed against the best in the state this year. Uh, they played in 13, I think it was, individual tournaments. Uh, Boo won 14. Boo won. That's probably my daughter, my grandbaby. It is. My grandbaby had to uh, But uh, played in 14 tournaments. Boo won the region, the Ole, I mean the KHS to play, the Ole, the um, Ryle Invitational, and did you win any more? And, and the Moorhead tournaments. She, uh, she won four tournaments this year, and uh, she finished in the top ten, and she ended up signing with UPI. Uh, for the rest of these young ladies, we've got a junior coming back, and that's Carly. And then we've got two sophomores that are down on that end, Callie and Madison. I mean, that'll be juniors, Callie and Madison. And then we've got Mallory and Gabby. That'll be sophomores coming in the next year. And so we've still got a young team. Uh, till this year, everybody, when we walked on the course to play, they said, who's shoving apart? Where are they from? Now, back years ago, they remembered I this with basketball, and then you know, they, they relate to that, but this year, by the end of the year, they were asking, was Shelton Park going to be here? They started expecting us to be there and competing, and that just says a lot for them. So, I won't, you know, I can stay here and say a lot, but I'm really proud of them, enjoyed working with them, and uh, got a good future in the other five girls that's coming back. I, I really expect them to win the region next year. I really do. I, I think, you know, a lot of teams are going to be looking. Boo's left. She's the one that really anchored our team. Boo's hard to beat. If you can't shoot in the 70s, you don't want to beat Boo. And I'm going to tell you that right now. And, that, and that's pretty tough. And uh, had a couple of Gabby shot in the 70s this year, but Boo was consistent. Yeah, it was her average the whole year. It was 78. And the rest of the girls, they know what they need to shoot for. But uh, we got a good future. And if they'll work at it, they'll win the region next year. But they're going to have to work because the other people will be working to beat them. And so girls, I pray continue to work. You ready for me to shut up? No, I just want to say something. <laughs> we fundraise and we work hard, but golf's not like any other sport. We have to pay to play. Mm -hmm. Every one of our tournaments, we have to pay $250, $275, $300 to play in every one of our tournaments where other teams, you know, basketball team, you know, they don't have to pay or football or whatever. And so our, our team's a little different than any other sport. 
and we worked hard and, and we raised money to, to pay for our season. But whenever you go to two state tournaments, it gets expensive. And we have thank you cards for the board for helping us uh, with the state tournament. And there's also a picture of our team in there. And we just really appreciate your help this year. Yeah. All the girls have signed. And will you get one to Lois? Oh, well, well. And one for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We and appreciate what you guys have done. And we do appreciate the board. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But I'm no. sorry. I'm <laughs> kind of no, uh, We just kind of chime off each other. We do the same thing on the golf course. If, uh, if a kid needs help, I'm with her. She'll be with the other. Or I'm taking care of the team. She'll be out there working with the kids. So we you know, we kind of bounce off each other and work this. But uh, we really appreciate the board and your all's help and support. And Larry, your all's help. And, uh, you know, if golf for us, We've got to drive three hours to play. We don't drive 30 minutes and play somewhere. It's a three-hour drive for us. Closest tournament we had this year was Moorhead. And that was two, two hours, 45 minutes, three hours. And that's going down and playing. If it's an early morning tournament and we tee off at 8, they've got to be out there before daylight state tournament. They were out there hitting balls with, a, uh, with their, can with their uh, phone holding a light so they could see the ball to hit it. And because they was going to tee off at 8 o'clock. And, and when we couldn't wait. But uh, that's just some of the things that we have to go through and the girls have to go through to be able to do this. We're very proud of it. <clears throat> I appreciate that very much, but I'd just like to commend you guys for being a coach and, and of course, the. Uh, Mr. McCoy down there is a cross country runner and of course played basketball and he knows the dedication it takes if you want to be successful and of course you guys and it's nice to have a team that's uh, competitive and you, you go out and of course you represent your community, you represent your school and uh, you know your parents and uh, you represent the board and we appreciate uh, you bring them back or the awards that you bring back and the accomplishments that you do and Say so hopefully uh, you know we're going to set a good example in the upper class, and you guys will follow suit and work hard and obtain that. And of course, I think you got some great support from you know your parents, and that means uh, you know a lot. Like I say, I've been in the coaching business for several years, and, and I know what uh, what sacrifice you make a lot of sacrifices, and hopefully uh, when we get that new facility, I'm hoping that we'll at least get a putting green up there and uh, hopefully you guys will come back and 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 help out with the you know girls that's coming up so I mean that means a lot I know when I played basketball we had somebody that that's been years ago you guys probably didn't believe I played but <laughs> that the alumni or former players come back and and helping younger players or younger athletes that means so much and I hope you'll keep that in mind too and I know when you go to college you got lots on your table as far as that, and sometimes it's hard to find time. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I think, again, I'm very proud of it, and I appreciate it. I like you, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, she got She got that she because she was on it. Uh, and I guess I better, I don't appreciate it. I know how coaching is. I don't know the time and the hours you sacrifice for you know, your own family and stuff so that you can be successful and help your kids be successful. And there's nothing like, I tell you, there's nothing like, it. <laughs> and you guys can vouch for this, and, and uh, those people that talk or coach, they, they might work with you with a skill for months, sometimes years, and then finally in competition, it happens, and you get it right. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. That's the reward you're looking for as a coach and a teacher. Hey, I've been trying to teach her that for four years. She's got it. She got that swing down, or, or she knows how to read. Tell me one thing. I've tried to play golf, and uh, not too bad on the drives. Not too bad when it comes to fairway and all that. <coughs> how do you read the green? How do you read the green? Can you tell? Me? Practice. Yeah, a lot of practice. I mean, I get down to look. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Huh? Expert on reading greens. 
I thought Buddy would be easy, but I could tell you Buddy tries to get into the hot water. I got to do it. So he's certainly hard working to put in the lunch. Like Coach said, that's what it takes. If you want to be number one, you make up your mind, you set yourself a go, you go, I want to be uh, one of the better players in Martin County. Is that your goal? Do I want to be one of the better players in the 15 for each? Or do I want to be one of the best players in the state? And you work for it. Don't come easy. So congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to you and your first team all state. I'm sure your parents are very proud. Uh, next we have our boys golf team and it was coached by Marcy Hansen. Sure Marcy's here. Uh, Four of our players is Corey Hansen, Carson Hansen, Dylan Fitch, and Andrew Haney. Uh, okay. So we must have something else to do tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, next we have girls soccer. We have uh, Coach Stephen Gauls. This is the coach Haley Paturk. Coach Bobby Hale. Jeremy Horn. There you go. Things like that, but things that people may not know. 
We had two make the all district tournament team. It was Emily and Sage. Sage's not here. We had three make the all tournament team, which is Emily, Tori, and Latasha. I want to embarrass Emily on this. She has two scholarship offers right now from two colleges. She has another tryout coming up this weekend, so we hope she announces soon. So all the hard work we put into to the team and the hard work they put in, it, it pays off when they get scholarships. Uh, and we hope, and, and Roger said, they come back and, and they help because it really makes a difference coming back. Because these, these younger girls, they really look up to you all. But I'm proud of them. They, they worked really hard this year. And, and the program looks looks bright. The future does for us. I don't have anything to add. <laughs> you done good. Girls, anything to say? <laughs> I would like to say again, I commend you and congratulate you and the those that made the all tournament team. But I gotta watch you play. I want to watch three or four games. Soccer is the fastest growing sport in the state of Kentucky from what I read. And, uh, it's exciting to me. And I like it better in person. I guess that's how you say it, than watching it on TV. And, uh, sometimes it gets a little rough. <laughs> sometimes it gets, I mean, it's not a, uh, I won't, I'm gonna use the term, it's not a sissy game. It, it's a tough game mentally and physically. And as far as conditioning, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, you gotta be in pretty, pretty good condition to do that. But uh, uh, I don't know if any of you guys do the bicycle kick, do you? But that amazes me. I see you just being highlights on wow. So, but congratulations, and I again commend you guys and congratulate you on the on your accomplishments. And like I say, hopefully the other girls and of course Emily looking at a scholarship. That's great. That's great. You know, some people say I'm going to I'm going to give me a summer summer job uh, so I can save my money to go to college. There's nothing wrong with that. I used to tell my players, here's your summer job. You can, you can get, which, uh, if you'll go back and you look at college scholarships today, uh, it's about 28000 at UK, 28000 a year, something like you buy the private, you're looking at 30, uh, 31, 32000 or Campbellsville. Uh, you're looking at four years. Uh, that's a lot of money. And uh, they help you advance your career uh, and get you know, a good job. Congratulations. Our next uh, staff and student spotlight is the boys soccer. Uh, first, we'd like to go Sam Miller, Coach Kenny McCoy, Coach Sheila Fry. <laughs> Uh, Nathan, Nathan Fry. Congratulations, Nathan. For Hunter, congratulations, Hunter. For Jordan, Jordan Guinness. Nick uh, Maynard. Dawson Praley. Congratulations, Dawson. Alex Clay. Joshua, Joshua Goss, congratulations Joshua. Blake, Blake Jude, Colby Barker, congratulations Colby. Hal Jansa, congratulations. That's not a common name, is it? Mark Kennedy. Noah, congratulations Noah. Uh, Grant Blackburn, Heath Manor, Coach, you want to say a few words? Uh, for sure. Um, so this is our first year as a soccer team, as a boys soccer team. 
Uh, and so I think with any first year, there's a lot of uh, difficulty at first. There's, you know, we knew that there would be some kinks at first, but these boys have worked so hard ever since. I remember it being like 120 degrees, I think, out on the turf field, out on the Sheldon Clark field, practicing in preseason. Um, and they have put in so much hard work this year, and we've improved a lot this year. And that was one of my biggest goals, was just improvement. There are some absolutely amazing soccer players on this team. And kind of piggybacking off what Steve said, uh, a big goal for me and our team over the next several years is looking at college recruitment, uh, looking at you know some players that a lot of players on this team who might want to play at that next level. Um, I was blessed to be able to play college soccer myself, so um, this is a great avenue for them as well. Uh, just want to really shout out their hard work this, this entire season, and um, uh, I, I think it, it's it's gone very, very well. I'm very, very proud of them. Um, so for Kenny and I just I don't have much to say, but uh, yeah. everywhere we went, all the coaches would come up and shake them in the same hand, hand and say that, Y'all have the hardest working boys mm -hmm. that we've ever seen. Yeah. And that was a compliment. Yeah. I mean, they gave it 100% and we was proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and I think all that to say, um, you know, we're, we're looking, you know, to the future, to the next several years. I mean, I really feel like next year, the following year, even that third year, we have some middle schoolers right now who will be on the high school team. And I'm just really excited to see where we're going to be in the next coming years. I mean, we're going to be the team to be you know, in these next several years. So it's, it's really exciting, and there's just so much potential that we have as a team, and I'm really excited about that, so. Well, I got an opportunity to see you play at the beginning of the season, and then also at the end, and I saw the Dragon Brook. You got a lot of young kids, so I think you're going to be about, you know, competitive right, right there, and, you know, sometimes you keep working hard, especially to your coach, and so I think it looks bright. Yep. The future looks really bright. And our scholarships, as you said, are soccer. And again, it's a fast growing school, but uh, I can mention the hard work you put in and the big improvement that you made. I got to see you play, and we were told you did the team during the winning season. Barcelona. Oh, Jackson. Can you do a bike? Bicycle pick? I'm sure you can. We have one. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Our last, but not least, staff spotlight is I want to recognize Mr. Harry Ball. Mr. Ball, if you come up. Congratulations, please. Four years. Uh, caught me off guard, Larry. I'm sorry. Uh, Gary's term has ended uh, as a board member. Uh, let's recall a few more meetings to stretch out this month. Oh, this yeah. might be our last one. Uh, so appreciate Gary. Gary gets to do what a lot of us don't. He gets to leave out on top. Oh. So, uh, I appreciate you, Gary. It's always great to see that many students at home.